Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to our flying field. Thank you for stopping by joining me on this channel. Well, as you can see, I've got my uh, flying buddy out there flying his Arrows Hobby Marlin. It's a beautiful little flyer. And inspired by that, I've been out and got the Arrows Hobby Viper, which I've been for a test flight and I couldn't, couldn't believe how remarkably easy it was to fly. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, um, as soon as Jeff's free, uh, or off the field, we'll um, take it out and uh, we'll give you a little uh, second test fly, if you like. Um, the batteries I've been using this is a Freecell 1550 Tattoo and it's a 75C. Um, the kit itself is only five, five pieces to it, the wing, the fuselage, the tailplane and the winglets. And it must have taken all of an hour to set up and to get ready for flight. As you can see, I've got a very old FR Sky V8 R4 receiver. So uh, let's go out and fly. Right, okay, we're ready for the second maiden of the Arrows Hobby Viper EDF jet, a 50mm fan. Um, the first flight was went better than expected. I had Jeff with me to uh, just guide me through the process. Uh, trimming out and what have you, but oh, I don't, it's you know it is a very very easy flying plane. Uh, what I'll do, I'm going to land it. Uh, I'm going to launch it in that direction, uh, in case it does go in. It goes in the long grass. So uh, hopefully I've got my camera angle set at the uh, at the right angle as well now, so you can see everything I'm seeing. So uh, here we go. <laughs> Nice and quiet. And I've got it on low rates for elevator. Middle rates for elevator. And middle rates for aileron. And this is very much a banking yank model. And I'm roughly half throttle at the moment. If you're worried about getting it into EDFs, as I was, don't be, because this will put your mind at rest. This is a lovely flyer and it glides on forever. If anything, I probably need um, a little bit of up elevator, which I'll try and do on this pass. And I think that should do it. Okay, so you can see I'm just above Half throttle there. Let's come down for a fast pass, shall we? Go to the loop. That was just, that was a buzzard that he's just passed. Nice flyer, what a lovely little flyer. See if I can lose a little bit of height. I'd like to speed up the runway if I can, or the flying field. Around about half throttle and I'm flying hands off. 
So it seems to track nice and true. And a quick roll. This is a lovely flying plane, lovely flying plane. But let's bring her in for a landing. Let's hopefully that, that bee can get out of my way. A little bit difficult to see <clears throat> against that gray cloud. Let's just bring her around again, see if we can lose a bit more height. Okay, let's drop the throttle a bit. There we go, and I completely cut the throttle and you can see how well it's gliding. Look at that, look at that. Oh, that's one of my better landings. <laughs> it's, um, it's come back in one piece. What a surprise. That's, that, that really is a remarkable achievement for me. Okay, that is the Aero Models Viper 50. Uh, surprisingly, lovely little flyer. Uh, I'm very, very um, pleased with it. As I said before, if you're interested in EDFs, um, but um, being put off by some of the handling char characteristics of maybe the larger ones that have been uh, uh, available before, um, you should get on well with this one. Um, I know some people have been flying it on a 2200, uh, 25 or 40 C uh, rated uh, cell, but um, I think after flying it on a 1550, it might increase the wing loading a little bit too much. Maybe you're not going to get too much fun out of it. I understand some people have been flying it absolutely fine. Obviously, their skills, their skill sets are a bit better than mine. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, watching this. I'm very happy with it. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Until then, take care. Stay safe. Bye for now.